they black like us. Nigga, I don't give a damn if they black like us. That's our enemy, man. It don't matter what uniform our enemy is wearing, they are still our enemy. But, um... I went to UCLA and I thought nothing but Africans get the scholarship. I see a large change in the black community. There's a lot of black people now in America who weren't from here. There's people coming uh, from Africa, sure. people coming from the Caribbean. Guess what? When I teach, some of my best students came from Africa. They came from another culture. They're black. But their educational system and their educational focus is a little different. different. And guess what? A little different. different. And guess what? The big major universities have noticed this difference. And so they want a certain black population but they prefer a population that is not as troublesome and not as poorly educated as the indigenous black population. Right. So we are being, uh, what do you call it, yeah, displaced. Sort of pushed aside displaced. yet again. Yeah. Right now, when they say the first black something, it's always a Nigerian, a Jamaican, or someone else. It's not an American freedman. No, it's not. When we talk about sports and movies, they're doing their best to replace us with that. And I used to think replacement theory was a nonsense, but wait, white people do it, yes it is, but in our case, it's happening in real time right now. Right now, I am in Houston, Texas. I'm at the park with my grandson right now, and there's only two black American families here. Everyone else is immigrant. Africans are seen as another immig immigrant group that is pushing past African Americans. This is particularly true of black immigrants who some African Americans believe are given preference for employment by white employees, employers. Look this is a tether takeover. This is warfare again. We've been definitely being ethnically cleansed in, here, in our own land, as we know. Um, us. We've been, I'm telling you, we've been replaced. And you know, so why the hell? is three African artists performing at the BET Awards. 